Okay, try this again. Hello world on YouTube. Alright. Today I'm going to do a little something different. Um, I'm not going to do my Razorback 2017 season preview video. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what I think. We're going to go Arkansas is going to do, it's going to do, it's going to go 10 and 3 with wins over, I mean, win, uh, losses to, to uh, Alabama, Auburn, and Texas, and Texas is in the bowl game, which will be the Chick-fil-A bowl, whatever, bowl game, Chick-fil-A uh, sponsors, I don't have a clue. Anyhow, <coughs> anyhow, what this video is about is the top 14 rivalry interconference, top 14 SEC interconference rivalries. Um, I'm doing this because I've seen a lot of videos on the top rivalries in college football, and I just feel like doing one about the SEC. So, we'll jump right into it with the SEC's newest rivalry, number 14, Arkansas and Missouri. Arkansas versus Missouri, the battle line rivalry. This one is new. Uh, there's been some trash talking going on in the rivalry. It hasn't been much. I really can't call it a rivalry. It's something the SEC did. Well, it ain't ever going to be a rivalry like the Golden Boot game, but it's number 14 rivalry in the conference. My opinion. Uh, it's not much of a rivalry, really. So. Number 13 is Tennessee and Kentucky. That rivalry's cooled off a lot. It used to be pretty big. It was a rivalry that ended the year every year for Tennessee and Kentucky. This ball game, it was a big rivalry, but it just calmed down. It calmed down. Calmed down too much, in my opinion. You know, you gotta have the... Now the big rivalry is Kentucky and Rule. But anyway... Uh, let's see, number 12, uh, 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 Tennessee and Alabama, the third Saturday in October. I can already hear of all fans saying, well, this is a big road, isn't it? I know, but it's really not that competitive. Alabama owns Tennessee in the rivalry series, and it will continue to own Tennessee in that rivalry series, I think. But anyway, it's it's one of the bigger rivalries in the conference. It's not the biggest rivalry in the conference, but it is one of the bigger ones. So, uh, but... Uh, number 11. Number 11. Auburn and Georgia. The Deep South's oldest rivalry. Yes, it's a big rivalry. I understand that. Don't get me wrong. It's not as big as some of them. Could be bigger. It's a good rivalry. It is. But, not that big. Uh, number 11. Number 10. Number 10. The number 10 rivalry in the conference. The Egg Bowl. Ole Miss and Miss State. That's been a big rivalry. Big rivalry. For years and years and years and years and years and years and years. Um, it's not as big as... Truthfully, the biggest thing to happen in a rivalry is police dog. One year, police dog bit an Auburn player. And then a few years later, Auburn got the miracle. Play to finish the game. So... It's a good rivalry, that's why it's a team. Number nine. The ninth. Rivalry. In football. Wait. I'm sorry, I think I did Georgia and Auburn. During the Ole Miss, Miss State, I'm sorry. There's been some brawls on the Mississippi Ole Miss rivalry, the Egg Bowl, but it hasn't been that big. Anyway, number nine, the ninth largest rivalry. 
uh, in the SEC. That that'd be Florida and Tennessee. That's been a pretty big rivalry. Will continue to be a big rivalry. But yeah. the number eight rivalry. Florida and LSU. They them two recently. It's been intensified quite a bit. That one is going to turn out to be a pretty big rivalry, but not LSU's biggest rivalry. It's a good rivalry, but not a big rivalry. Uh, number seven. Number two. Arkansas and Ole Miss. That is a pretty good one. My dad has told me that years ago, several years ago, Ole Miss from Arkansas, they hated each other. They still don't like each other, but they hated each other back then. No. Uh, so that's number seven. There. Number, number six. Number six. Uh, Ole Miss and LSU, Magnolia Bowl. That's a pretty big rivalry right there. Um, not as big as it used to be, though. But it's big. So that's number six. Number five. Auburn and LSU, the Tiger Bowl. Whew. Bad blood there. Bad blood there. Bad, bad blood. Not extreme, but it's, it's pretty bad. Number, 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 what is this? Number four. The number four ranked rivalry in the conference. The battle for the golden boot. Arkansas and LSU. Now I can already hear people saying, well, that's not big in LSU fans. Well, well, you don't care about that ball game. Liars. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Excuse me. Uh, that rivalry has grown quite a bit in recent years, in my opinion. Um, last two years, it's traded. Uh, Arkansas won two straight. LSU won last year. So, it's been back to back, and there's been some, there's bad blood. There is bad blood in that rivalry. Pretty bad blood. You ask Razorback and LSU fans, uh, that, that is a pretty big rivalry right there. That is a pretty big rivalry right there. Number three. Number three. LSU and Alabama. You want to talk about a rivalry? That's a rivalry. That is a rivalry. Um, LSU fans frequently have been caught chanting, Fuck Nick Saban. They have been known to do that. They, they don't like Alabama at all. And, uh, and Alabama, they don't like LSU either. They don't like LSU either. Uh, it's a big rivalry, though. I've watched it the last few years, and that has been a that That game has decided the winner of the SEC West for the last several years. It is a rivalry. It's a good rivalry. Uh, number two, Florida, Georgia. The Florida, Georgia rivalry. Ain't nothing like it. Huge rivalry. Each side hates each other. Hatred, pure hatred between those two. Big rivalry. Big rivalry. Played in Jacksonville, Florida every year. Woo. Big rivalry. Big rivalry. And the number one rivalry in the SEC, I bet you can guess it, the Iron Bowl. Alabama and Auburn. That's the number one, number one rivalry in college football, folks. That is the best, biggest rivalry in all of college football. 
It is the biggest and best rivalry in all college football. There haven't been as many brawls in it as uh, uh, Ohio State and Michigan, but it is still bigger than that because the fans hate each other. Just to illustrate how bad this rivalry is, which it's bad. Wives won't sleep sleep with their husbands because they don't, you know, they won't sleep beside their husbands. Children hate each other's brothers and sisters. Sis siblings are separated. Kids won't talk to each other. Um, best friends won't talk to each other. On Iron Bowl Day, you can forget it. And the rivalry just intensified a lot. In the kick six in 2013. Yes, Alabama, I had to bring it up. Kick six in 2013. The miracle. It intensified tremendously after that. I watched several uh, fan reactions. Sorry about that. On that, I watched several. I watched one where it's a, it was a family in Auburn did it. Going down the sideline, about right when it looked like he stepped out of bounds, how, how, everybody in Alabama, all the Alabama fans said, He's out of bounds! And then after that, one of the Alabama said, It's not over! But it was over with because Auburn won. And then I watched one where the Alabama fan literally, he punched his TV. He, he was over here saying, You ain't shit, you ain't shit, you ain't never been shit. Bow! Punched the TV. Oh, I'm sorry, that was Clemson. My bad. That was a national championship. My bad. Erase that from memory. Forget that. That That's my bad. That was the national title game. That was the national title game. I'm sorry. I apologize, sir. I really do. I'm sorry. Uh, but, bad blood. Bad blood. Bama fan poisoned the tumor trees and Auburn. Auburn fan hung a Cam Newton. Or as Alabama fans call him, Scam Newton Jersey on Bear Bryant statue. There's just been bad blood in that rivalry. It's a big rivalry. It's the biggest rivalry in all of college football. So those are my top ten, top ten, top fourteen interconference SEC rivalries. Uh, notice I said interconference. So if you wanna. If you think there's an interconference rob interconference, it's gotta be between two S E Z teams. But if there's one I left out and you think should be in there, comment, tell me. I probably forgot. Uh like I say I'm not doing my Razorback season prediction this year. I tried and the bone hit and I I guess I accidentally deleted it or something and I just don't feel like redoing it. Uh so like I say, we're going. I say Arkansas is going ten and three this year, losing to Alabama, Auburn, and Texas. Texas in the bowl game. Uh. So, there you go. Top fourteen rivalries in the SEC. Whoopee.